I literally recorded recorded half of this video, but it wasn't recording. I'm so glad I noticed when I did. Whew. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. How you doing? Uh, today I wanted to do a little video that's um, very popular at the end of the year. I just wanted to kind of run through my favorite products because I don't show all the products that I buy on my channel, but these are the products that I reach for almost on an everyday basis and I don't know how I survive without them years prior to. Some of these are new products, some of these are not, like they've been around for a while, so just bear with me here. And I didn't discover something amazing in each category, um, so I'm going to try and organize this in the way that I would do my makeup. So it would be like skincare, primers, foundations, yada yada yada, and then I'll add on a little bit of um, hair care and actual body skincare. So without the further ado, let's jump right in there. <laughs> I'm, so I'm gonna begin with a little bit of skincare, like I said. Um, this is the Little Barn Apothecary Bamboo and Fresh Mint Clearing Mist. I love to spray this on my face right before I start doing my skincare and then my makeup. It just kind of wakes me up. I feel like it's really good to like sanitize my face and sanitize my blemishes and all that jazz. I also do like to spray this on my face before going to sleep. Um, just to kind of like clear and calm everything down because this does have bamboo, spearmint, and licorice root. Um, I want to say that spearmint and licorice root are good for like your stomach and it calms it down. So I would assume that it would do exactly the same thing to your actual skin. So it's nice to reduce redness. I feel like because the items in here are sustainably sourced, everything is going to be nice and healthy and it's not going to be filled with a whole bunch of goop that like doesn't need to be in your makeup. So I really, really definitely like this. And then for the my other skincare products that I really love this year have been the um, Lamine Vallo Light little line here so these are nordic and um i received these to try out and these are very uh, nice and affordable so i have the brightening beauty lotion the glow boost essence and the daytime lotion um they all contain vitamin c and kind of re-energize your skin i have noticed a like glowiness to my skin and it kind of brightened it up and i feel like this has been very, very good for me, and I just feel good about using it, and it is very affordable. I think you can get it at CVS and Target, and it just, it never broke me out. It never, like, moves around my makeup. Everything sits perfectly on top. It soaks in very nicely. I just think the formulas are uh, freaking amazing, and it's affordable, which is the best part. Now I'm going to move into primer. I have fallen off the bandwagon there for a while, but when everyone started raving about the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, I was like, this has got to be bullshit. Like, it can't really be this amazing. So I was like, okay, like, fuck it. I'll buy some. And they didn't even have the full size. I had to buy a bundle to get this little baby. But uh, this thing is like magic in a little pot. It is pore filling. It is softening. It makes your skin look just perfect and it fills your pores without clogging them and it just really makes the perfect canvas and it like does such a beautiful job of making everything on top look so much better than they would usually and it's just great. It's expansive but it's great. Moving on to actual makeup now. Uh, foundation wise, Hourglass Vanish Stick definitely um, this is something that I replaced my Makeup Forever HD stick with because the Hourglass is cruelty free and that's something that I've been doing this year is trying to buy only cruelty free items. This is expensive but I've used this for a very long time at this point, like literally got it kind of at the beginning of the year and there's still a bunch and I use this all the time. I feel like because it's such high coverage you don't need that much so you're not caking this on and... Um, it's beautiful, the be formula is beautiful, the finish is beautiful, it just makes your skin look like your skin but like a million times better, uh, just beautiful, I love it, I will forever love that and I don't know how to survive without it, honestly. Even though that's not a new foundation this year, it definitely has changed my routine for the better. Um, I did not discover any good setting powders this year, but I did discover <laughs> a bronzer and a highlighter that I cannot live without. Actually, there are two highlighters that I discovered this year. I just pulled it out of my drawer. So I'll start with the um, contour shade, the bronzer, just because that's clearly what you would put on your face first, or that's what I would put on my face first. This is the Marc Jacobs Tan Tastic. This was supposed to be a limited edition type of deal that ended up like coming back. Uh, beautiful tone, 
perfect, not too warm, not too gray type of deal. Smells freaking fantastic, really pricey, but just like airbrushes your skin, snatches you, and you just look like, I don't know, you're like the most beautiful thing on earth. Which also leads me to the next product, which is the highlighter. This is the Marc Jacobs as well. And this is the um, Guilty Highlighter. Like, if this is not the most beautiful thing that you have ever seen in your life, then, like, I don't even like you. Look at that. Just look at that. Like, it is peachy, it is gold, it is glowy, it is perfect, it's not chunky, it's not sparkly, it just makes you look like you're glowing from within. As you can see, it is what I have on my face right now, and it just looks like you're just this Greek goddess that was just born this magical way. Um, and then the other one that I really did enjoy was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy. This is also a very, like, champagne-y gold color, almost peachy as well, and it's this also is like almost like a moussey type of texture so it never comes on your face powdery doesn't have that yellow undertone it's not sparkly it's not glittery it just makes it look like you're glowing from within and it's beautiful for eyeshadows there were a couple things that i really really liked um this is actually something that my my best friend turned me on to so this is the blink electric ice palette Am I wrong? Am I right? I don't even know what it's called. Yeah, it's electric combination of jewel tones eyeshadows. Um, she gave me this because she got another one and these are literally the most beautiful shimmers I've ever seen in my life. And I don't ever want to put any other kind of shimmers on my eyes. They're so like soft to the touch. Like I want to swatch um, like this middle shade right here. Let's see. Like, just so pigmented, so, like, wet-looking without needing any kind of fix plus. You just dab, 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 and you look like you're the most beautiful person on earth. Um, actual eyeshadow palette-wise, I was the most drawn to the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. It looks like this. From the packaging to the colors inside, to the formulas, to the creativity, to the way that things pair up in here to the diversity to everything. I think this palette hands down wins this one and I don't even like Urban Decay shadows, but this palette is bomb. I traveled with this palette. I got a lot of looks out of this palette and I definitely have not put it down. Like if I purchase um, other palettes after I purchase something, usually I'll kind of just meh, push it aside and like not really play with it anymore, but have not done with this one. This is always something that comes to mind because I'm a very warm makeup kind of girl, <laughs> hello as you can see, but this has that, but it also has these like pop of colors and just you get kind of almost inspired when you look at it and you're like, I want to do something cool today. The next eye product is the Stilla Glitter and Glow things. These are definitely not new for this year again. I think they might have come out with new colors, um, but in general, these Stilla bomb glitter things are just amazing and they transform any eye look like I'm wearing them on my eyes right now and even though you're wearing some kind of like glittery eyeshadow if you just pop that on top boom like your eye look is transformed and you're gonna be like questioned in the street like are you a makeup artist like your makeup looks so good um and then mascara wise I really love this Kush mascara my best friend Lauren gave me a sample she was a gem and spent 100 points so I could try this out before buying it but definitely will be purchasing a big thing um this just does such a beautiful job of separating of lengthening it's super dark super beautiful builds up doesn't crumble like just the perfect mascara like I literally don't even know what to say about it and lastly for makeup, I want to say uh, it's going to be a couple of lip products. So <laughs> I don't think anyone will really be surprised to know that the two winners are going to be the Fenty products. Like, no one has come close to making a color that's this beautiful or a formula that's so easy to apply that like stays on, doesn't bleed. Hate gloss. I wear this gloss all the damn time. I really want to pick up the other colors. Uh, this is the Fenty Gloss Balm. This is supposed to be like the universal shade that will look good on everyone and it was the first one to come out. Um, and I know that she came out with more actual lipstick shades as well that I do want to pick up. These are pricey but like constantly I go to both of these on a day-to-day -day basis so I definitely will want to invest in all the other um, like other products within these two. Fenty like 
broke into this market this year and like destroyed so many brands, which is just kind of sad because like obviously Rihanna is not a makeup artist, but she did a bang up job on creating products. So I guess now I can go into, I guess a little bit more skincare. I don't even know how to describe this. So really the next two products I use at the end of the night. So this is the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy. This is my second little tub. The most amazing makeup remover I have ever used in my life. It's just like the most beautiful balm that's not too greasy, doesn't sting my eyes, doesn't get caught up in my eyes. And it just does such a great job of stripping your makeup off, but not the oils. It like softens your skin. Just, I like literally don't even know like if magic existed, this is magic in the bottle. And then I really like the number seven total renewal. This is definitely not something new that came out this year, but time and time and time and time again, this is probably the best dermabrasion exfoliator that I use. Nice and gentle, so it's not too abrasive, but it gets the gunk off, it gets the dead skin cells off. It just really is an amazing product and it's affordable because it's like a drugstore brand. Then I really do enjoy the Kapari Coconut Body Glow. This has been amazing for photo shoots on like when I want my body to look nice and glowy. This is amazing on legs to make them look a little bit tanner and just have them catch the light and have boys turn their heads as you're walking by. Um, really, really beautiful product and it's made with coconut oil so it's nice and good for you. It has, um, it's paraben free, it's non-GMO, it's silicone free and it's sulfate free and it's cruelty free as well. So really, really good stuff in this little bottle. I guess I'll just continue on like with the body trend. Sol de Janeiro, this is the best body lotion and the most amazing smelling body lotion that I've ever had my hands on ever in my life. It's fast absorbing, it helps tighten and smooth like no other. I don't think I'll ever use another body lotion ever in my life. The last two things are going to be hair things. One of them being my extensions from Lexi Hair. I'm obsessed. I have a video that I will link up above and down below, kind of comparing them to Bellamy and explaining the differences and the similarities and basically how Lexi hair is freaking amazing. I love it. I literally have dyed these multiple times. They still feel so nice and so smooth and just like so beautiful. Oh, I love them. They're just so great. And then speaking of hair, I am obsessed with the Number three, Olaplex Hair Perfector. This is really, really great for damaged, heat treated, chemically treated hair. It just repairs your bonds and makes your hair really, really strong and healthy and shiny. And I think it has been a godsend for people who actually do things to their hair. So that there wraps up all my favorites for the year. The beauty industry robbed me of my money this year absolutely freaking lowly and it's gonna continue to every year I am like so sure about that but that's life there's so many great things that have come out I am so proud of the beauty industry in general for taking such huge strides in the cruelty free direction into making products healthier for you not using you know, parabens and things that are just gonna clog your pores and be bad for you and gonna sink into your body and cause you to be sick. I think that the beauty industry is really doing great things and moving in the right direction. And I'm very, very excited to see where it goes from here. If you use any of the same products and are obsessed with them, please let me know down below. Let me also know what your favorites of the year were so that I can check them out in 2019. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.